Tell us a little bit more, how excited is it to have your film part of this, this festival? I think getting into any festival, festival is an honor. Um, I'm, I think we're at six festivals to, to date right now, which is incredible. Um, so Justice for Vincent is doing really well. Great feedback from uh, everywhere we go. And uh, maybe it's time for a moving social justice, Asian social justice story. Were you surprised to see the the reaction to the film and is, and maybe hopefully people somebody might want to pick it up and and make it to a full fledged movie. Um, I'm always uh, nervous. <laughs> I'm hashtag nervous. So when there is a positive response and it's been overwhelming, um, yeah, I'm a bit surprised. Um, the, when I started to do the short, I mean the the plan, the dream was to do a feature film to begin with. But there aren't many Asian American social justice stories. So in order to convince uh, the major studios and the public that there's a market for this, um, a, sh a short film was the way to go. So, so far we're doing well. Now, for you, how was the reaction when people first watched the film? Um, have you been able to get audience reactions from the various festivals that you've been at? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, I was a bit surprised by how um, forthcoming people were. Every festival that I've been to, uh, people come up to me um, personally and have great things to say uh, about, the, about the film, not only cinematically, because we did keep the production values high, um, but also just the story uh, and its importance. I think uh, it's a riveting story. Um, that is both timely and timeless. Uh, and I think it's time that there's more uh, vehicles like this for Asian Americans, and there aren't many social justice stories for us. And um, I think it's great that films like Crazy Rich Asians are on the map now and prove that there's a market, but that's comedy. And you know, we have great dramatic stories to tell too. And tell us a little bit more, um, why was it important to tell the story of, uh, of Vincent? Well, Vincent Chin uh, is a real life story um, that sparked, uh, his murder sparked uh, the, what is believed to be the first civil rights movement in America. And um, I don't know, this story has been churning in my gut for decades. Yes, I'm that old. Uh, but when I uh, came across it as a student in uh, Toronto, Canada, it just stuck with me. It really haunted me. Uh, through journalism school, through my uh, entertainment career in Hong Kong and Singapore and then back to Canada. I just said, I'm finally here in Los Angeles, let's just do the film. And you know, I called a lot of friend favors and we made it happen and I'm really happy from production to the cast. Lastly, if, lastly, if anybody wants to get to know more about the film or what's the, jur the journey of the film, um, is there a social media they can follow? Oh, hashtag JFV. Uh, you can follow me, Lawrence Chow, L-A-W-R-E-N-C-C-H-A-U, on Facebook or Lawrence Chow, uh, slash, actor slash host on Facebook as well. Instagram, Lawrence Chow, act, A-C-T. And of course, watch interviews like this on Pacific Rim Video. Thanks for featuring us. The defense maintains that the murder of Vincent Chin, tragic though it was, was nothing more than a drunken fight gone too far. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs>